Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to clone a repository from GitHub. Um, we'll make a fork of it and then submit a pull request. So you can see in here there are some issues in here. We're not actually going to address any of these, but if you want to address them, you can click on them, just look at what they're describing, and maybe a comment saying that you're going to try to do this. But what I'm going to actually show you just an example of how you can submit uh, just a demo thing. So all you're going to want to do is go to the whatever project you're looking at. So in this case, it's the file editor that we're working on on Fridays. So you're just going to want to hit fork. Um, I've actually already forked it. This is my username here. So this is my repository now. So once you click fork, it's just going to create a fork and you'll end up on the page that looks just like this. So it almost looks the exact same as the other thing. Same readme file in here. No difference really, except that it's just a fork from it. Alright. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clone your file. Uh, since you're on GitHub, you're actually probably going to need to add your SSH key. So that's just in your SSH keys. You can actually add it. Um, or you can switch and just use HTTPS, in which case it's just going to ask for your password. Just like um, at Guelph when you're doing normal clone. I'm just going to use SSH because I've already set up with SSH. It's no different really with HTTPS. Okay, so I am just going to go up a little. I'm going to go up again. Desktop, I'm going to the tutorial folder, and now I'm going to get clone shift insert to enter that. To enter the uh, copy text. Um, and then you can actually specify a second parameter for what you want this to be named. So I actually want this to be named file editor instead of the CIS 2500. So this is actually going to be the name of the folder. So I'm just clone that. <clears throat> if you look here, you can see there's the file editor folder now. If you just look in here, it is the same as what <clears throat> is on the website. This is a test. Uh, the make it works fine. <clears throat> so now we are just gonna make a quick change. We're just gonna change the readme. So we're gonna say. This is an example of editing a fork repository and submitting it as a tool. I know I, sp I know I spelled repository wrong, I'm just going to ignore that. So I just uh, control X uh, to quit and it asks if I want to save and I hit Y or yes. So now that's saved, if you get status. You can see the readme is modified. Hit commit. This is a dash a is means the all. You can add an M or you can do this. Same thing. This is a message. Modifying readme. Now <clears throat> git is actually a GitHub is a little different actually with the commit messages. You can actually have it so it's a brief description and an expanded description. So if we actually go into a full commit, the first line will be the brief description. So modifying readme. I just wanted to modify the readme file as an example for this video. So this is like a, a longer explanation of what is going on. You don't have to do this, of course. This is just optional because GitHub works nicely with this kind of stuff. So I am just gonna save this. Okay, so there the commit is made. So oops. Get status, you can see um branch is ahead of by one commit. So get push. It's now pushed, go to commits, modifying readme, it's right there. You can see my change, add it. Okay. 
Uh, you can see it's visible in the readme file here. So let's like moving on. And as well, you see how this says modifying readme here? This is actually where it's got the expanded thing like I was talking about before. So it's like the header almost and then a little sub description thing. So now that you have some kind of change that you want to submit, you can over head over to pull requests, do a new pull request. Um, <clears throat> you actually look at what this says down here. It says to uh, submit it to the development branch. So that's actually what we're going to do submit this to the development branch. So this is where it's coming from. So my repository dot so from the fork. And I'm gonna submit the master branch. We haven't really learned branches yet, don't worry about that. Just know that you want this on development, this on master, and this what you want just on uh, the other Justin's <laughs> repository. <clears throat> so it shows what you've done here. Uh, it shows your commits. Now, the reason mine is showing more than just the modifying readme file in here is because I already had made other commits, so it actually will just combine them all. And then, once you create pull request, you're going to get <clears throat> something that looks kind of like this, but it's going to have a little bit more at the top. You, you just enter the title of your pull request, so modify the readme file. <clears throat> I wanted to test out modifying the So there you go. That's what you do. You just This would say like submit pull request. You submit that. So if you look up my pull request, this is what it looks like once it's submitted. You're just gonna have the comment. So I got adding in border and adding dot get ignore to bin. Uh, oh, we don't we don't want that modifying readme in there. Um, I, I'm gonna I'll remove that later. Um, we got the files changed. It said well it's changed and everything, and that's about it. Um, that's all that's all you have to do, and then that will get approved by. Um, whoever is managing this. That's all you have to do to get something in here. It won't be in here instantly, it has to be approved. So, you yeah, actually would have a button here to automatically merge this into the code. But other than that, that's all you need to do. Uh, there may be future videos expanding on these concepts, but for now I'll leave it at this. Have a good weekend.